Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first because we do have a storm system. You can see it rotating there over the top of Idaho, Wyoming, parts of Montana, and it's pivoting down over the top of the Wasatch with some snow there for the for the high Wasatch. And then eventually all of this is going to slide through Colorado. Um, so this is our storm system, but it's not the only one. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So as far as these videos go, I decided to do another one today because we have a storm. In fact, we've got two other cold fronts in addition to this. But sliding forward, of course, ski season now really behind us. Now we've got spring skiing, um, sort of the shoulder season. Um, so I'll start doing these videos quite a bit less frequently, but throughout the summer, if there's something big going on or an interesting topic or there's a storm system or a monsoon surge like in July and August, um, things that are interesting that drive the forecast. Really appreciate everybody who's tuned in here, who stopped by and watched these videos. We've had a lot of success with these, so I appreciate that. But looking at the bullet points here, we're definitely in a spring pattern. The rain snow lines are all going up. Um, it's going to be harder to produce those, those big, efficient, cold uh, snows that we, we would have had, you know, just a month ago. But the storm system right now, 415, 416, is sliding through the Intermountain West. There's a second cold front behind that will affect Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, 417, 418. And the third cold front that comes through mainly Colorado, the front range of Colorado on 419 and 420. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I want to take you back and I want to take a look at the jet stream, uh, the jet stream pattern here. So this is the jet by the close of business today. You can see the dip in the jet stream there over Colorado, over Utah and Wyoming. That's our storm system. So let's move into uh, tomorrow. There it is, close of business on 416. Here comes the cold front. There it is. You can see the northern branch dropping to the south through Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. That's our second cold front. That moves through. And then eventually here comes another one on 419, 420. Kind of slips in on the backside through the front range of uh, basically areas east of the continental divide of Colorado. And then all of that tends to clear away. And you can see the jet pattern by the time we get into 422, 423. It's a much warmer pattern. Bottom line. All right, here's the forecast radar and satellite by 530. Storm system has moved some snow and uh, into uh, parts of Colorado in the mountains, and we're starting to see that ramp up. Um, some rain and snow showers through Wyoming, some snow continuing back through the Wasatch. All right, by 416 in the morning, you've still got snow. The low pressure now is kind of spinning. You can see that cyclonic backside running through the top of uh, parts of Colorado and southern Wyoming. Rain over the top of Denver in the front range. By the time we get into 416 in the afternoon, the storm has moved away. But here come, look to the north, here comes our next cold front running south through Montana, Wyoming. Here's 417 afternoon. Now, there's 418 in the morning. You can see it slipping down out of Casper towards Cheyenne and into Colorado, running down towards Denver. Um, and there's Thursday in the afternoon, and it's gone. There's one more front. Here it comes. See it gathering over the top of uh, the front range of Colorado. There's 419 in the afternoon. Now, there's 420 in the morning. It's possible that it'll be snowing across Denver in the front range up to the Continental Divide, probably um, significantly drier west of the Continental Divide, and then that slips away during the afternoon, and then that's kind of it for a while. There's 422, 423, everything's going to the north, uh, a little bit of high pressure ridging across the Intermountain West. All right, as far as numbers go, we'll do it by time period. So today through tomorrow, three to eight inches of additional snow over the top of the Wasatch, a couple of inches up in parts of Wyoming, Montana. Most of the snow is going to be in the central to northern mountains of Colorado, close to Summit County in the Continental Divide and east, where we could see six to 12 inches of accumulation and some good snow up through parts of BC as well. Okay, second time period, 417 through 419. This basically captures your second cold front coming down through Montana, Wyoming, where we could see several inches of accumulation. Then, of course, it drops down into Colorado where we could see some accumulation. Final time period and final cold front rolls through the front range of Colorado with another one to three inches of accumulation and some pretty good snow up there in parts of BC and the Pacific Northwest and the Banff area. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this mountain weather update. I've always appreciated everything you've done and you've tuned in here. Um, we'll keep doing these as necessary. Take care and have a great day.